Hello, today we'll be talking about policies. After all, there's been a growing interest in the Kubernetes policy landscape these days. And it makes sense, right? Every organization has policies in some way. Some are essential to meet legal requirements, while others help ensure adherence to the best practices. In this video, we'll show an overview of the ACM policy-based governance framework. But what is policy? Let's begin with a basic example. A policy can express the desired state for a specific configuration within a cluster. It can inform or enforce the desired configuration. For example, this policy here states that cluster color must be red. If the configuration in the policy does not match the actual configuration of the cluster, the cluster will be designated as non-compliant with the policy, which results in a violation. So in this case, the London cluster is compliant and the Paris cluster has a violation. This sounds great, right? From this example, we can start to imagine some other helpful use cases. But for most ACM users, this helps with three main problems. Number one, operator management. Much of the OpenShift experience comes from using our certified Kubernetes operators. Number two, we have day two configurations. After installing a cluster, there are always those post-install adjustments to make. So the cluster is ready for production workloads. Policies can help automate configurations, such as network settings, identity providers, and etc. Number three, we have configuration drift. We know that dealing with these configurations manually is error prone, especially in multi-cluster environments. ACM policies will help you ensure that these settings remain as defined. As you can see, the ACM governance framework is designed to automate policy enforcement and ensure consistency. Here's an illustration that shows a little bit more details of all the bits and pieces. Very basically, this is showing how all the policy controllers that run in the clusters manage policy usage and placement across all the managed clusters. All right, now let's go ahead and see a policy creation flow from the ACM console. This wizard will help us understand how to create a policy more intuitively. So first of all, I'll give this policy a name, my policy, and I'll also select a namespace, my-policies. We'll hit next and then we'll select a predefined policy template. As an example, namespace must exist. And the name of namespace that must exist is going to be acm-configs. We'll apply this policy to the default cluster set. So in this case, we are targeting here all clusters belonging to this cluster set. Next, we can see that ACM policies can have annotations to associate them to certain compliance standards, categories, or controls, such as NIST, HIPAA, or even customized standards. We can see all the policy code on the right, and we are finished. Once we apply this policy, Almost immediately, the policy is going to tell us that all these clusters have violations. Why? Because none of these clusters have the ACM-configs namespace resource. Now, let's say you want to build your policies, but maybe you didn't find a template that fits your needs, or you don't want to worry too much about writing the policy code. The good news is there are two other great ways to work with policies in ACM. One is using policy generators. The benefit here is that you only need to work with the native Kubernetes resources that you want to configure. An ACM's policy generator will wrap it all into a policy for you. So to use policy generator, all you need to do is keep your Kubernetes manifest that you want to apply to all your clusters in this GitHub, GitHub repo. In my example, the goal here is to configure a common identity provider across all the clusters. So now, Policy Generator is implemented as a customized plugin. So this means you can either run it locally with a customized utility.
Or you can do it even better by running with the GitOps integration. When we look in ACM, we can see our recently created policies. And we look at, when we look at applications and future by the Argo CD type, we have a topology look at all of our policies that were created and targeted to all clusters. You can also take a look at the open policy collection in this repo. Access the open cluster management policy collection repository in GitHub. And here you can see many examples that you can reuse. A great one is the OpenShift Platform Plus policy set that is deployed using the ACM policy generator. This policy right here even uses advanced templating, a feature that allows dynamic attribute assignments. This can help you reduce the number of YAML files you need to manage for cluster specific or version-specific configurations to just one policy file. Okay, today we saw an overview of the ACM policy-based governance framework and how it can help you and your team better administrate multiple clusters.